Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Trader. Last time we explored the Pillars of Veritas and also the Agathus Archides, Archides, something like that. Um, and we found a couple of void ships that we explored. One of them we actually went down on the planet and explored it. It was all uh, infested by chaos and the warp was nasty. Really cool atmosphere in it. And the other one was one of those uh, uh, book readings where you have uh, big pictures and passages to read and things are really cool um but yeah we did those and we've got just the orcelio prophecy left to go to in this little quadrant at the mouth of this great beast here that uh sort of reaches out into this section um and then i think we'll, well after that we'll go to yanis we'll get the other seal and i do think we'll make a trip down to footfall again because I think we do have a melta charge we can use to get into that shadow quarter district. And maybe we'll check out the Imperium too. Um, while we're down there. But right now we're heading over here. We'll make it safe. Chart new routes. Oh, it goes all the way up here. Let's have this one. Which is Aldari Survivors. Interesting. Okay, let's visit this. Your Celio Prophecy. Alright, we got some ships. Some combat, some pirates over there. Space dust. Let's go check out the space dust first. We'll want to repair our ship too. Let's go ahead and do that. Got some fuel. Scan. Flood victims. It appears that a large void ship recently dumped a huge load of junk and faulty parts from orbit. The debris that did not burn up in the atmosphere is now blocking the flow of a mighty river. This dam is causing the river to overflow, flooding the nearby valley. A herd of large hoofed rodents has gathered along the riverbanks. If the animals lose their usual habitat, they are doomed. Hmm. The Lord Captain declares a great hunt. The animals cannot flee and are virtually defenseless. And their valuable meat and pelts would prove quite useful. The Lord Captain orders the removal of space debris from the riverbed. It is a long and laborious process, but the animals have a chance to survive. Um, I feel bad about this as a person. <laughs> But she is a, you know, a noble warrior. Like, she's noble, nobility, and she's a warrior. I feel like she'd really like the hunt. Ugh, even though it's not a challenging hunt. But, you know, nobles often didn't have challenging hunts, right? Alright, we've got provisions and uniform kits. The Great Hunt brings plentiful spoils and lifts the crew's spirits. The right to take shore leave and partake in the hunt is so coveted a prize that many are willing to sell their belongings, make hefty bets in card games, and even fight in improvised tournaments to win it. Nice. Sorry, animals. We got a very molten-looking world here. Another 50 XP. Alright, let's deal with these pirates. You can always check your cargo status on your cargo management screen. Hmm. These ships look so weird, don't they? <laughs> the stars will judge you. Oh, it's just the one ship? We are exposed. Wow, that was one hell of a shot. Alright, go ahead, let them have it. Send them into the cold void. Wow. Their shot did more damage than mine. Scorch our enemies. What is going on there? Hmm. Steer us to our target. 
Okay. Fire. And then we can do this. Let the Imperium guide us. Oh, we don't have any actions now? Oh, no. Can I turn now? Oh, no, I can't use that now. Damn it. All right, well. Torpedoes, now! This might have been a bad decision. In fact, I think it was very much so a bad decision. Luckily, I don't think those torpedoes are going to get to us. Okay. All right, not so bad. We we're, were able to get up to it. I guess right there is fine. Not a whole lot of damage there. Going to fire. Move there. Fire. Eviscerate them. God damn, it is. Not taking a lot of damage, is it? Move right up to it. Fire. Unleash the storm of macro cannons. Emblazon our path. Is trying to run. Got it. Easy. An unsophisticated victory. Here we go. Thirty-one scrap. Not a lot. Not a lot of anything. It was a pretty easy battle, all things considered, especially when compared to the the battle in the. Uh, Crossroads of 100 Dreams. Yeah, we might as well go repair that. Scan. What were they protecting? Prometheum. Five of it. We'll take it. Alright. That was a quick system. I thought we'd, uh... I don't know. Get something with the Orcelios, but I guess not. Alright. So now we'll be headed off to you. Do I want to make it any safer? It's currently a dangerous route. I think we're going to risk it. We didn't make it. A call for help has pierced the tranquility of an uneventful warp flight. Something sinister is afoot on one of the storage decks. Two squads have already been sent to investigate, and both of them have gone missing. Alas, the only way to learn of their fate is a personal visit by the rogue trader and her retinue. Okay, well, at least we're not being surprised this time, right? So, it should both be easier and maybe harder. <laughs> easier in the fact that, you know, we're going to have our whole crew. Harder in that it's probably not going to be easy enemies like the other one was. All right. Yikes. My crew has been messed up. Let's seize the opportunity. That's a lot of bodies. Your demise is assured. Alright, well I mean if it's just two of you, I'm not too worried. Right there. Abelard up here. Heinrich over here. You right here. You over here. Alright, Cassia, you're up first. Go ahead, hit him with that. Again. Isn't this a job for the sir? Okay. I'm gonna put 
Oh, I can't see that over there. Damn. All right, well, we can do these. Uh, rear one over here. Backline where you're at. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Go ahead and give Ab a lot of turn right now. I am a navigator. Good. Wreck the strike. Kill it. Oh. Oh. Well, okay then. We're going to put the front line over here. While you start taking out these guys. Go ahead and shove them. Oh. That works too. Okay. Oh, these guys only have 16 health. That was probably a waste. This tedium is beneath me. All right. Another soul slips beyond the veil. Good, good, good. Analyze him. I am not your Zeno's pet monkey. And do that. If I must. Ow. Rejoice in decay. I will triumph. Purpose guides me. Okay. Attack him. I missed. I need no guidance. I reject the very idea. Red the flesh. Fifty damage there. Very nice. Follow my lead. All right, kick him. Oh, I was hoping to hit the trap. Damn. Hi. Kill him. Where are the rest of them? Okay, they're back there. There's one there. If I may. Another bug painted black. Okay. Um, let's give Heimrich a turn. Shoot. Okay. Heal. But of course, Lord Captain. All right, you're gonna come up and deal with this guy. You're gonna shoot this guy. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter again. I because I don't have a lot of health. Oh, I didn't see that guy over there. Okay. 
Yo, you gotta dodge, man. Alright. Shoot. Accept my offering. Shoot. Got him. Reload. Good dodge, good dodge. Bad dodge, bad dodge. Charge him. Vengeance will be swift. Move there. Shoot. Charge. Such is the will of chaos. Such is the will of chaos. More of them. They just keep coming. As duty demands. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Another foe painted black. Another foe painted black. I can't get you out of there. Oh, right there. Me. Okay, got another one there. Shove him back. You will pay an even greater price. Shoot him. Stand your intent. That not work. Okay. Shoot him. If I must. If it serves your cause. Now. Good dodge, good dodge. Okay, we really need to switch back to the other stuff, huh? That was good. At your back and call. Parried. It's not allowed. Victory is imminent. Oh, these guys have a little bit more health. I serve the ruinous powers. Focus, Van Kalx. Focus. I'm done with this one. And he kicked ass there. That was awesome. They don't stop. They don't stop. If I may. Choking me. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Can you charge him? It will be done. Damn it. Got parried. Endure. Alright, looks like we're good on this side. Move. 
Good dodge. Fire. Kill. Damn it. I will not. I am not Analyze. Pet monkey. <sighs> if I'm not a soul Oh, they're dead. Good parry. Where's this uh last one at? Over there. Okay. Uh go ahead and move up here. Fire. Fire. The skies. I will delight my masters with your demise. Put that there. Perfect. Abelard, you're gonna charge to him. Uh, I should have done something different. That's okay. I think we've pulled it off. All right, go ahead and loot him. Hello. On vileness and salvation. The yellowed pages of this tattered pamphlet give off the sickly sweet smell of rot. The universe is drenched in foul blood and rampant profligacy. Disgrace, immorality, and lies permeate the air around every wor world. Agony, suffering, and pain thrive within us. Submit, repent, and accept your fate to live and die in vileness and villainy. This omnipresent sickness pierces the void that stretches between suns and worlds. All of existence, somehow or however perpetual or unshakable it may seem, will one day witness its demise and turn to dust. The cities of today will become ruins of tomorrow. The rosy-cheeked maidens will turn into a filthy hag. And the soldier who walks the battlefield for the first time will forever stay there, sinking into the bloody, decaying mass of countless others. But open yourself to the truth. If depravity, filth, and vileness are eternal and all-encompassing, then they are things worth bowing to. And therein lies our hope. By resigning ourselves to the rotten deformity of existence and embracing all of its profanity, we can be honest and sincere with our nature. We can evade the doom of oblivion and become one with eternity, having trodden through all of the world's putrescent, putrescence and recognized its morbid and irremediable, irremediable wretchedness. We can perceive the soft and curative warmth of the truth, of the true most merciful of faiths, and thus, at last, we can discover the path of salvation into the caring embrace of the great unclean one, to his rotting and all-accepting heart, where there is a place for any true believer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Let's just go ahead and loot all this from these true believers. If their religion is so great, why are they dead? I tread a path unexplored. There we go. I didn't see if there was anything. I, it didn't look like there were any other goods I missed. Well, that sounds... Alright. We're here. Uh, it sounds not going away. Uh, can that go away if I go here? It's not that annoying, but it's a little grating. <laughs> also, I don't think we took any injuries in that, but if we did, this will get rid of them. Right clicking on the result of your roll in the combat log will display something. No, it's not going away. Save. Main menu, maybe? It's not. <laughs> no. Alright, I'm restarting the game. There we go, that ended it. 
Oh, man. Now, you might be thinking, hey, he'll probably cut this part out. Nah, ain't happening. I do see the uh, big red bearded guy. Maybe he is supposed to represent the rogue trader because he's like forefront where everybody else is pretty small. Maybe he's just a really big dude. I don't know. Looks cool though. Really awesome axe. All right, the game should be starting up. There we go. Warhammer 40k. Continue. The sound is gone. Uncountable worlds are said to labor beneath the Imperium's yoke, the Coronis Expanse, where the realm of the Von Valencius dynasty is located, is but a sliver of humanity's domain. Dominion, rather. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. To another loading screen. <laughs> uh, it is a lot. Luckily, that loaded quickly. All right. To Yanis. Colony Rewards Trophy, Apexalium Stimulant. Stimulants. Alright, uh, we can do this. Okay. So we've got the Secrets of the Winter Scales. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a Cure for Sloth, which we decided we weren't going to do. Oh, right, we were just holding off on getting the next one until we could uh, unlock something else, huh? We just need mechanisms. We can find mechanisms somewhere. That was the rebel base. Alright, um... We need to bring Jay with us, I think. I don't think we have... Maybe we don't need to, but... Although, maybe we do need to bring her. I'm glad we're going back to this planet. I really liked it. I love the, the jungle... Aesthetic. Look at these little parrots flying around. So full of life. I was just thinking that we haven't really had like a really long dungeon. I think the jungle, the rebel base on this planet was probably the longest. But I guess that's probably due to how the game works with the trauma. By right, having to return to the ship. Alright. Is this guy an officer? Atelius Quint? Atilius, can you seal this? Aha! Atilius Quint nervously tugs at the hem of his dusty cloak and bows respectfully. Your ladyship, the subjects of Yanis welcome you. What cares have brought you to our humble world on this occasion? How are things? Without the enemies of humanity on our land? Wonderfully, your ladyship. The people of Yanis are indebted to you for ridding our world of heresy. You destroyed the Aldari on, y on Yanis. The Emperor, as my witness, Yanis will continue to serve the Von Valencius dynasty, but not in precisely the same way as before. I appreciate the local species. Oh yes, the flora of Yanis can take your breath away, while the fauna can inadvertently kill you. I require a, a seal to certify a, a Mercatum Tabula Official. The Secretary nods energetically. Of course, of course. It would be an honor to assist the rogue trader. Wait but a few minutes, your ladyship, and your humble servant will have your seal ready. Jade's expression is pensive as she twists a lock of hair around her metal finger. Interesting, Shireen. I assumed we would be dealing with the servitors, but no. Some places in your domain ha still have this work being performed by people of flesh and blood. I beg your pardon? What's this about servitors? I have faithfully performed my sacred duties to the Imperium and the Administratum all my life. 
and guarding the seals is part of that. And after a century, not a single seal damaged. I keep them in special cases, and I oil the handles every month, as the rules stipulate. Jay shrugs. I am merely repeating the words of the Master of Seals on Darganus. Servitors have replaced an entire category of lowly bureaucrats assigned to the Von Valencia's planets. Oh, around ten years ago now. But after seventy years of service and not a single directive? Not from Holy Terror or from Darganus. A complete breakdown of communication. What a farce. What an insult against all processes. Scarlet patches blossom on the secretary's pale face. But this is easily remedied. If the administrator requires such a servant, then I will immediately begin preparations for servitor servitorization. The will of the Lex Imperialism Lex Imperialis is supreme. Jay nervously licks her lips. She clearly did not expect this response to her remarks. Atilius, I do not think the Exalted One has any particular desire to see you lobotomize and turn into a mindless clinking ghoul just because someone somewhere changed the law. Atilius, there is no need for that. Yes, any servitor can place a seal, but can it do so while granting me a sincere smile or impressing me with its impeccable finesse and attention to detail? I think not, but you can. He is correct, Jay. Each of us must follow the letter of the law. You can serve humanity while remaining as you are. Could a servitor replace a true administrative officer who is passionate about his work? Yanis needs an intelligent secretary, not a brainless machine. Simply require a servitor for yourself. Do whatever you want. Just set the seal. Uh, so it looks like we could fail. We're going to persuade him. After lots of uh, prevarication, prevarication, Atelius's hunched figu figure sags. Of course, of course you are right. I will continue to serve Yanis and the Von Valencia's protector as before. And today I will dispatch a request for copies of edicts issued by the Imperium over the last 50 years. Who knows what else we have missed here on Yanis? Jay lets out a breath, obviously relieved. That is wonderful, Atilius. Just wonderful. Just don't go poking at your eyes with a long needle, at least until you receive a direct order to do so from your precious administrator. Here you are. The secretary offers the sealed certificate with care. And may the Emperor bless your path. I'll take my leave. Yanis is always honored to receive you, your ladyship. All right. Nice and easy. Intriguing. Back to the ship. I don't know if I'd have the um the will to do what he was about to do and just become a servitor. That sounds horrible. Although I guess it's it's probably not unlike what it would be like to be tranquil in Dragon Age. Is like once it happens, you probably don't feel remorse for what you lost. So I can't just travel here, right? No, I'd have to chart a deadly course. We'll just take these safe routes. Down to, to footfall. Go ahead and visit. Let's go check out the shadow quarters. We have, I hope we have a mouth to charge. Is that something I can check? Where would those be? Um, I can go in here, sort by name. Yep, yeah, we have one mouth to charge. Okay. Uh, footfall. Unknown mechanisms still there. Shadow quarters, dreams, and stories. Sure, we'll bring Jay with us. Why not? Maybe we'll just um switch those three around like each time we get that prompt. That'd be a good way to do it. Unless, you know, we're on a mission that I want to see what they say in. Agility makes it easier for characters to dodge enemy attacks. Perception makes characters attacks harder to dodge. Hmm, bet you guys didn't know that. All right. I tread a path unexplored. We can take this on down here. 
Is it darker here than it used to be? Surely not. Alright, toss the rubbish aside. Triumphant as always. Note from the cache in the old tunnel. This is the final stretch, Seeker. Remember the second word, design. Remember the place, cogitator, cogitator, statue of the founder, small temple. Look for a cache in the old tunnel in Shadow Examine the cogitator by the statue of Footfall's founder. Where would that be? Powers unseen the atrium, maybe? Path. Hopefully it tells me. I don't think there's any statue here. The atrium. Okay. Long loading screen. Quiet loading screen, too. The music's gone. Uh, it must be this guy. Is that the statue? Or is that of dresses? I don't remember. Embrace true power. That's the main statue I remember seeing, so we're going to head there first. This? The side of this cogitator would be enough to break any tech priest's heart. Right, we've, we've looked at this before. Use the keys to enter two words. Re realizing design. While you're pressing the keys, the cog cogitator appears dormant. But as you enter the last letter of the second word, it suddenly comes to life. Triumphant music pours out of it, followed by a voice. A man's voice. Pleasant with a somewhat dated pronunciation of Gothic. Greetings. Greetings to you, keen wanderer who found my message and solved my riddle. I, Parsimus Duane, master of football, trailblazer of the expanse, am pleased to welcome visitors to my magnificent palace in the stars. Football is my great creation. It is what marked the beginning of the Imperium's triumph, triumphant march into the Karanus expanse. You are here because you managed to discover the message in the Alam... Uh, Almanac, Almanac, a footfall published on my orders and find the caches I had installed at select sites. You have seen the view from the dome of the great cathedral, the void piercing arches of the Providence Bridge, the stars cold gaze through the windows of the small quay. Only thus, step by step, can one experience the scale and the elegance of my creation. Footfall sites are their own reward, however, I have prepared a gift for those who might unravel my riddle. Approach my statue, for the gift awaits you there. Remember, nothing must stand between you and your design, no matter how audacious and grand it may be. The voice quiets. You hear a click from the statue of Footfall's founder, as if some hidden locking mechanism has been released. Goods. We get focus incense. Each of the revel and slaughter, each use of revel and slaughter increases the wearer's perception by ten until the end of combat. This stacks. Neat. And Righteous Fury Cape. For every kill, the hit the wearer increases their critical hit chance by 5% until the end of combat. That also seems really good. And quest completed. Why am I not wearing a necklace? What's wrong with me? Um, I kind of want to... Uh, the newest. The rare's ranged attacks decrease their target's dodge by 5%. percent i go with this. Hell yeah. Okay. Luckily, we have Revel and Slaughter, so that seems like a fitting one for me. Alright, we can get out of here now. 
That wasn't so bad. That was pretty quick. So do we want to waste our um our navigator points to? Wish I could just go back to the ship from here. Do you want to waste our navigator points to go check out the Imperial, the the Imperium? I'm worried that there's not going to be anything there. They're just going to be like, oh, you can't go this way. <laughs> but um, I'll be forever curious if I don't check it out. So I guess I guess it is worth it. That way we don't have to come back down here. Again, unless we have, like, a main quest to do so. Or any quest, I guess. Because it is starting to get to be quite a journey to come back down to football. It was nice coming back every now and then. I have uh, good memories of this place. The world trembles beneath my feet. Feels like a while ago, doesn't it? That we were exploring football. Although, we, we've made regular visits back, so it hasn't felt too bad. But I imagine, you know, give me another 20 hours in this game, it'll feel like a long time ago. I've been recording a lot over this current week, and I'm recording, so... The Shadow Quarters itself doesn't seem that long ago. Alright. Karana's Expanse. Like, this episode... This episode comes out on Saturday? I think so. Eh, it doesn't matter. Alright. Now, there is that, um... Adeptus Mechanicus place. Out there. I kind of want to use all three. Fuck it. I really don't want to get into a fight going here, so. Lord Captain Raver on the line. The astropaths are going crazy in their little chamber. They are reporting severe warp disturbances along our intended route. It looks like the maw is completely impassable. I've seen this before, yes. And if you ask me, going in there is not a good idea. For us or for any other void ship. So you're saying that not only will I break through the maw to the Imperium, but I will cover myself in glory as a conqueror of the raging warp. Forward. I did not inherit this void ship only destroy it in the roiling Im immaterium. Let someone else valuable someone less valuable will deal with them all. I'll see to it, Lord Captain. Okay, so that was just a waste of points. Damn it, that's what I was afraid of. Alright, well back up here. Um, what about these planets? The only way to get to these are through here. Oh man, that's going to be... Do we want to use another three? Uh, yeah. This could be so stupid. I just wasted all my things. I only have one point. To get through these places. All right, well, Cradle of Kirby, or Kepri. It was bothering me, just leaving these out in the, in my map, unexplored. Destroyed ship over here. Some goods, I'll take them. And three planets. Beginning scan. Xenotech? Oh, we need more extractums. <sighs> Beginning scan. Ooh, another one of these. A surviving piece of an archaeotech mechanism of unknown purpose. Discovered among the wreckage of the of an ancient Imperial vessel on one of the planets in the cradle of Kirby. Or Kepri. Alright, so that's three of those we found, right? Bit by bit. Oh, this is for the unknown mechanism. Interesting. Scanning this ice world. Alright, we've got distress signal there. And five Prometheum. This place is loaded. 
All right. Well, next up is Argenta. We'll need to level up too. We've leveled up. Whenever a character performs a melee attack, they gain 10 weapon skill and 20% hit chance for each ally adjacent to the target of his attack. Okay, so that's like the flanking stuff for this place, for this game. All right, let's level up, and then we might save this planet for the next episode. Okay, so we've got a skill and a characteristic. So for a skill here, um, we're going to keep going demolitions. And our characteristics. This is new. A patch did come out today, so they've they've redone this stuff. I guess this is I don't know why it's organized like this now. Hmm. Um or perception or agility. Agility's at 45. Yeah, go agility. There we go. These are easy levels if that's going to be what they all, they all are. Skill and characteristic. Okay, for you, we've already got Karaz up to 100. But I guess you can go higher than 100. Coercion. You know, let's get your Medicaid up a bit more. And for this, your toughness. Always toughness for you, if it's an option. All right, next S characteristic and skill. Yep. Okay. Um, can't get fellowship up anymore. Get your willpower up. Oh, one more of these. Persuasion is already high. Let's get Imperium then. All right, next. Mm, for you. Get your ballistic skills up. And... Maybe your Medicaid, too. Or maybe awareness. Awareness is good for you, right? Let's go logic. Yeah, get your logic up some more. Alright. And for you... I've already got high Xenos. You know, getting some more warp would be good. And then... Ballistics or weapon. Ballistics or weapon. Toughness would be good too. Let's give you toughness. Make it a little bit more tanky. And finally... Uh, for you... Um... Yeah, Medica. And for this, agility. Oop, agility. Puts her agility at 70. Beautifully done. Okay. Okay, well, that was super quick, so I guess we do still have time to explore this planet a little bit. The world Looks like this is the way. Alright, what's going on here? Such a peaceful scene. The likes of which I haven't seen in a long time. No bright flashes, no riot of colors. Just pure white canvas. Well, now you've said that, I expect things to take a turn for the worse any minute now. Be on your guard. Examine transmitter. Alright, so that's given the signal. We got some bodies over here. Two skeletons are lying in strange positions, as if one was either carrying or hugging the other, and did not let go even in death. Their gear is badly damaged and decayed. Carefully inspect the skeletons and their gear. There are three things worthy of note. Fragments of some sort of devices that both skeletons carried on their belts. Some shiny trinkets and the remains of the carried skeleton's bag, and an old portable cogitator. Cogitator, god damn it. In the other's bag. Try to extract the data from the cogitator. Examine the broken device. 
The pieces of broken tech suggest that this was a rudimentary radar jammer, an item commonly utilized by pirates in the Chronos Expanse. The trinket? The trinkets are clearly of Xenos origin. There are mis miscellaneous, time-worn items that have no particular value. One can assume that they are petty trophies looted from several corpses. Try to extract the data. The cogitator has been exposed to the elements for decades, or even centuries. It is a small miracle that you are able to extract a fragment of a Vox recording, apparently the last communications. Scout 1. We're rich! Chaos, take me, we're rich! Look out. Fly for, cry fly for crying out loud, spit it out. What have you found? Scout 1. Rich! Screw footfall! The expanse can go to the orcs! We're out, we're out of here! Calixus, here we come! Look out. Yeah, because with our record, Calixus is definitely the place to go. What makes you think, li think life's better there anyway? Scout 1. I want a house on some planet, a mansion, with a lion statue at the entrance. It'll have a servitor with one job, dusting my lion statue. Fly, look, you idiot. Oh, you idiot, you're still on a dangerous planet. Quit sending me your hollerings. Get back here, or just tell me what you found already. Fly? Fly, you coming? I'm coming for you, dumbass. If you're not responding just to mess if you're not responding just to mess with me, you're dead meat. I don't think he was just messing with you. The Inquisition taught me many things. This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. What do we got here? The skeleton is decayed. The skeleton in decayed tech priest's robes is missing its right leg. Judging by what remains of the bones, the leg was hacked off. It seems the person was still alive when it happened and they're reaching the spot by crawling rather than walking. Hmm. The motionless servo skull shows no sign of damage. Looks like it hovered next to his dead master until his battery ran down. That's really sad. Embrace true power. Attempting to arrest the rogue trader's companion on her ladyship's own vessel? It's beyond the pale. I hope the Inquisition does not come after you itself in the future, Magos. Do not fret, First Officer. I currently have no plans to do such a thing. Artifact or Ancient Remains. That was a problem for you. The bone structures indicate that these belong to an Aldari, not a human. Alright. Examine the transmitter. Oh. Empyrean showing up uninvited. How improper. Oh my. Okay. Well, let's get you over here. I never switched your weapon, so you're on demolition control. Or duty. <laughs> um. E. Ooh. Um. Shit, we can't get to any of these without disabling traps. Maybe either this one? Or these two? Alright. Cassia. Good. How dare you? Isn't this a job for the serfs? Do some damage to that. Good. Good. Let's go and buff everybody here. And analyze that. Alright, Heinrichs. Uh, you're gonna come up here. 
Alright, go ahead and shoot it. No, actually, we need to move like here. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Let's see to it. Okay, not a lot of damage. Charge up to it. Okay, that was pretty good damage. Kick it. I won't object to it. Hmm. Move here. Tactically sound approach. Move there. Maybe we can go this way next round. Ow. All right, Argenta, disarm this. Guided by faith. Failure is the most terrible punishment. Very good. Um. Move back over here. Rejoice in battle. Heal him. Be strong. Greater trials lie ahead. Integrity factor increase. Doubt is for the weak. For you, my Hey, 17 emperor. damage. I'll take it. Alright, Imogene. I'm guessing these weapons don't do anything. Oh, they do a little bit. Every little bit counts, right? Um, move here though, so you can disarm that too. I will triumph. Fifteen damage. One damage. All right, disarm this. Oh, it's Lorzinos. I shall not be deterred. I thought it was uh something else. <laughs> Alright, that's one down. Hmm, can I reach anybody? I can reach you, so I guess I'll give it to you. And you can go ahead and shoot that thing. I need no guidance. I will delight my masters with your demise. One step closer. Hey, 20 damage. Very nice, very nice. Ruin beckons. Reload. Okay. You need to get back in the cover. Shoot this guy. And then shoot him with your plasma rifle. Alright. Decent damage. Do that and then heal yourself. Ow. Okay. So you want to move back Everyone, step aside. and then charge it. And then kick it. Naturally. And then hit it. That's about as good as we're going to get. Heal him. For the throne's glory. You can move here. Follow my lead. And you're going to charge. Oops. That's all right. That's all right. Now you're going to charge him. Victory is imminent. 15 damage. It will be done. Go ahead and make him your sworn enemy. Indeed. And Rakri. No. Ow. These ruby choking me. Okay. Go ahead and move up here. Shoot it. Running gun. Faith without deeds is worthless. I will not. Shoot it. Damn it. Imogene, shoot it. I will triumph. 
All right, and now you're gonna shoot it with that. Purpose guides me. Good. Running gun. I need no guidance. Shoot it. I will triumph. Damn it. All right, Cassia. Too far away for that, so shoot this I thing. I am a navigator, not a servitor. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Good damage. Give Imogene another turn. If you insist, Lord Captain. She's gonna try and take One this thing down. Closer. I don't think it's gonna work though. Ruin beckons. Close. I'll show you why navigators are feared. All right, Pascal. Hit it with that. Good damage. Hit it with that. Again. Again. Damn it. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. What? Come on. Approved. How are you missing? What the hell is that crap? How annoying. My vow is to serve. Now it's dead. Hit this one. Running by Neric override. Analyze it. Okay. Move back. And then charge. But of course, Lord Captain. And then kick. I won't object to it. And then hit. Let's see to it. Good stuff. Alright. Move back. My place is at the And then charge. It's kind of funky. <laughs> But whatever works, right? We should have done this beforehand, but I wasn't thinking. It will be done. Ow. Just a minor setback. Indeed. My final lesson. Liam death does duty end. As the Emperor commands, I act. Purpose guide. Reload. Finish this thing off. Satisfying demise. Okay, that's another one down. This one is low. I will triumph. Thanks to Cassia. Good damage. Alright, hit it. Finish it off. Come on, hit it, hit it. Good. So you're gonna move back. And then you're gonna charge it. Naturally. And you're gonna kick it. And then you're gonna smack it. I won't object. Charge it, kick it, smack it. Are you you're gonna move up here? His is on shift two, whereas okay, you can't reach him. Iron knows no pain. Doubt is for the reload. Weak. Or, I mean, not reload. Running gun. Faith without deeds is worthless. <laughs> Good damage. Okay. Hit it. I need no guidance. I will delight Again. My masters with your demise. Finish it off. Good. 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 All right, so you have to move. Mm. So move there. Move there. You're gonna be out and open, but hopefully it won't matter. There we go.
Smart. Smart, smart, smart. <laughs> We're very smart. All right. There. Go ahead and open this up. Eldari weapon or Jukari weapon. It's pistol. And makeshift heavy Xeno mesh. Ooh. Hmm. What's that plus symbol mean? Base armor property. Plus two deflection against non-human enemies and five additional wounds. What's this plus mean? Why does it get a plus? I don't know if that's better than the fellowship armor. Does look cool. That's for sure. But I think the radiant chest plate is better for him. All right, go ahead and disarm the rest of these. God damn it! My resolve is unshaken. We'll be going back to the ship, so I think we'll be okay. I won't go down easy. The Inquisition taught me many things. Intact components are scattered amidst the turret wreckage. Perhaps they could be useful. Perhaps. Let's get the rest of it then. Hopefully you can get all of it. What a shame. Damn. That turret is seriously damaged. Nothing of value can be gained from it now. There. Good. Powers unseen uncover my path. Okay, so we're getting Xeno artifacts here. Lovely. Swole looks suspicious, doesn't it? Easily done. That was a problem for you. More of that. Good. The Inquisition More. taught me many things. Useless. Nothing. Damn. All right. Do we need to test this again? Turn this off. The unsettling structure adorned in strange masks vaguely resembles the uh, antenna of a powerful transmitter. At its base, you see a cogitator and a few other devices. It seems that some part of the structure is buried underground. Investigate the entire structure. You identify a number of elements of the structure. The long-range antenna of a design standard for Imperial colonies, the Cogitator, the Eldari Beacon, and half a dozen other devices of varied origins. They all have one thing in common. This tech is designed to transmit basic signals to neighboring space, the most common being requests for assistance and ship distress codes. So, someone loaded this miserable place with transmitters from various races in the hope that someone would land here and run their... run into their welcoming committee? Clever. I saw similar tactics used in my years in the Navy. True, in a war zone you are usually on high alert. You don't just hair off after a lone distress signal. But in an isolated place like this, you expect the most likely scenario, just a ship that had to make an emergency landing. It looks like plenty fell for it. Including us. Noticing the interest with which Pascal is serving the, con the construct, Hamrix asks, Are you studying the device? Is in its very existence a violation of the protocols of assembly? The tech priest's tone is pensive, and his vision flashes, visor flashes. This statement is true. This construct has been assembled in contravention of canon law, and must certainly be disassembled, but not quite yet. But who would set such an indiscriminate, indiscriminate trap? One intended to lure an Eldari and humans and anyone else? Who is an enemy to everyone and everything? Uh, chaos. Force access to the cogitator. Could blow it up, but we don't have the iconoclast for it. Hmm. Force access. You manage to penetrate the cogitator's defenses. Its function is rather simple. The program is designed to activate the transmitter once every five years and send out a ship distress signal into space. Turn off the transmitter permanently. 
You destroy the program and disable the transmitter. No one will respond to the sinister signal ever again. All right. Look at that. We're already pretty far along to the next level. I love how quickly you level up, although I'm a little worried that we're leveling up too quickly. And that we'll spend a large portion of the game at max level. But it is what it is, right? The world trembles beneath all right, we didn't miss anything, right? No other... What's all this stuff? Nothing, I guess. I don't see any way to get there. Okay. Alright, let's head back to the ship and then we'll wrap up this episode. Alright, Servitor Captain. Let's go. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll... Uh, I think there's one other system down here we're going to explore. And then we'll... Um, Okay, so we could go back there if we need to. And then we'll uh, head on with the main quest, heading towards Vabos, I think it was called, or something like that. Vabos 6. Until then, hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.